I'm Gloria Miller and this is Crochet Du Jour tutorial number 29, how to make these summer fingerless gloves. Today's project is super quick and easy and as you can see by my samples, the sky is the limit as to how you want to make your fingerless gloves. I absolutely love them. You can make a pair while having your morning coffee. <laughs> the project skill level is beginner and there is a written pattern available, which I will link in the description box. The written pattern as well as the tutorial is in both US and UK terms. The materials needed for today's project are DK weight three yarn. You can use any DK yarn of your choice. A 5.0 millimeter hook, scissors, yarn needle. The pattern is written for an adult size and it really is one size fits all because they are quite stretchy once they are completed. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and then click on the bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. You can also find me on social media at Crochet Du Jour and I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Also, I have started a Facebook group and I would love for you to join me there. That is the perfect place to show off anything that you've made along with my patterns or tutorials. And the group is called Crochet Du Jour Community and I have put a link to the group in the description box. Okay, let's grab our materials and get started. We are going to start by making a slip knot. You can use your preferred method to do that. And then we are going to do a chain of 26. And this is to make an average adult size. To do a chain, you want to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Carry on making chains until you have a total of 26 and I will meet you there. I have completed my chain of 26 and now I'm just going to run my thumb along the chain to make sure that it is not twisting. And then I am going to join with a slip stitch into the first chain. This is to create a circle. So to do a slip stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through the chain, and then the stitch that is on our hook. And we're going to be working in the round for this project. For round one, we're gonna start with a chain one. And then we are going to do a single crochet in the chain one space to single crochet we're going to go into the chain or the stitch yarn over pull up a loop we now have two on our hook yarn over and then pull through two loops for the remaining stitches of this round we're going to be working in the back bump if you just flip your work over onto the back side of it you'll see these little notches and we're going to be working in those notches. And I'll, I'll put my hook in one just so you can see what that'll look like. So we're going to be working in that back bump or notch of the stitch. So we're going to be doing single crochet back bump only. So we're going to go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We now have two on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. In the next stitch, we're going to yarn, uh, we're going to go into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. That gives us two on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. So we are just working in those back bumps and I'm using my fingers to pull up that back 
bump so I can see it for navigating my hook. So I'm going to go into that back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. I've got two on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. So carry on with single crochet, back bump only, all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of the round. I am at the end of the round and I'm going to finish up by joining with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And then we're going to move on to round two. To start that round, we are going to chain four and that chain four will count as one double crochet and one chain. So a chain of four, one, two, three, four. So those first three chains count as the stitch. And then that chain is part of the sequence that we're going to be doing. So we're going to now do a double crochet, but first we're going to skip the next stitch. So not, we're not gonna do anything with that space with the chain four space because that is all counting as the stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch and then work in the next stitch doing a double crochet. To double crochet we yarn over, we go into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We now have three loops on our hook. We yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next space and then do a double crochet in the next space. Yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have three on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So the sequence for the remainder of this round is chain one, skip, one space and then double crochet in the next space. So keep doing this sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of the round and you should have a total of 13 double crochet and that is including the chain four. So you count that as the first stitch and then when you count all the way around, you should have a total of 13. So I finished off that sequence with that chain one, and then we have that space that we're going to skip, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of that chain four. So counting up, we've got one, two, three, and we're going to join in that stitch or that chain with our slip stitch. So make sure you have a total of 13 double crochet, including the chain four. For round three, we're gonna start with that chain four. We are going to skip the chain one from the previous round and then we're going to go into the top of the double crochet from the previous round and we're going to do a double crochet. Then chain one, skip the chain one space and then double crochet in that next stitch which is the double crochet from the previous round. So we're going to continue with the sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of the round and I have completed the sequence, double crochet, chain one. Now I'm going to skip that chain one space from the previous round and then we will finish this round by joining with a slip stitch into the third chain from the start of the round. So one, two, three, we go into that chain with our slip stitch. For the next four rounds, we are going to be repeating round three. So we do our chain 
four. Skip the chain space and go into the next stitch with our double crochet. Chain one. Skip the chain space and then double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat this sequence for a total of four more rows. When you've done your fourth repeat, you will have a total of six rows of double crochet of that sequence and a project row count of seven including our single crochet from the very first round. So carry on with double crochet, chain one, skip that chain space, and then double crochet. Do this for four more rounds, and I will meet you at the end of the fourth repeat round. I am at the end of my fourth repeating row, and I will just finish up by joining with a slip stitch into the third chain from the start of the round. You should have a total of seven rounds and a total of six rows of double crochet. With row eight, we are going to be building the thumb hole. So we're gonna start the round with that chain four. Then we're going to skip the chain space and put the double crochet into that next stitch. So it's, it is the same as the previous rows we've done. However, instead of doing 13 double crochet. We're just going to be doing 12 double crochet for this row. So carry on with that same sequence as before, but stop at the 12th double crochet and I will meet you there. I am just about to make my 12th double crochet for this round. And this is where you should be as well. And instead of doing a chain one after the double crochet, we are going to do a chain four. And then we are going to finish off this round by joining into the top of the chain. So that third chain of our chain, beginning chain of the round. For row nine, it we are now just going back to the repeating sequence. So we're gonna start with that chain four. We're going to skip the chain space and then double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to carry on with this all the way around the row. And I will meet you at the end of the row. I am making my way around the row here. So we are now at this chain. I'm sure you got there and like, okay, now what do I do? <laughs> so uh, you should be, you should have gotten at least this far. And then what we're going to do is skip the chain and then do a double crochet into the next chain space. So it's kind of in the center of the chain that created the thumb hole. So we're just gonna do a double crochet there. Okay, so it should look like similar to that. And then we're going to do a chain one and then finish off just like we've done all of the previous rows going into the third chain of our starting chain for that row or for that round. So sorry about that if you got confused once you got to that, that chain space, but here we are. So it should look like this. We are at the final row now. This is really a quick project. So we're just going to do a chain one. This is the start of round 10. And we're going to do a single crochet into that chain one space. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the chain space from the previous round. 
and a single crochet in the top of the double crochet from the previous round. And then for the remainder of the round, we will be putting a single crochet in the chain space and the double crochet from the previous round. We'll be doing that all the way around. So single crochet in the chain space and then single crochet in the top of the stitch. Keep with this all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of the round. I'm gonna finish off with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. You should have a total of 26 single crochet. And I am now just going to tie off my work. And we're done with our first <laughs> summer fingerless glove. So there we are, easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> very quick little project great right so we just need to make a second one of these so go ahead and just follow the same again to create your second glove so go ahead and weave in those ends i have weaved my ends and i'm just going to now turn these inside out and here is our completed project summer whoops <laughs> fingerless gloves lovely thank you so much for joining me for today's project if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you are notified whenever I upload new videos. You can also find me on social media at Crochet Du Jour and I am on all of the top social media platforms. And I have a Facebook group called Crochet Du Jour Community. Please join me there. I've put a link to that group in the description box because that is the perfect place for you to share anything that you have made along with me, either from my tutorials or my written pattern. As always, I really do enjoy this time that we get to spend together making something beautiful. And I look forward to the next time we are together again. I'm Gloria Miller and this is Crochet Du Jour.